Yes. United forever in friendship and labor. Hey guys, it's Lavender here. Welcome back to my channel. It's Lavender here, and today I am back with a new Better Red Than Dead broadcasting video. In this episode, I want to talk about landlords, how they are parasites, how Nesli is stealing water and privatizing it and lying about it, and how awful the catless pigs are when it comes to that. And I want to talk about um, facts about food deserts and food waste under capitalism. But first of all, I want to talk about um, three subjects that have been, been bothering me lately. So yeah, just little updates about my life and stuff and what's going on with me. So yeah. So first of all, I no longer use Tumblr anymore. Um, I haven't used it in I think like a year since they like decided to turn into this like anti-sex worker like... Um, Websites, so yeah, I don't use Tumblr anymore. Second of all, I no longer use Pinterest because Pinterest, I think, is censoring me, and um, because I can no longer like log into my Pinterest at all, not even with my, the right email or password, it won't let me. And um, one of my uh, boards that I made, it was called uh, "The Evils of the Catless Pigs and Fascists." It appears to be taken down. I don't know why. Um, it won't let me log into my account or anything. But yet, I always see on Pinterest like a bunch of Nazis and like, racist people on there. They're running rampant and they lo they have their account still up, but my account is being censored. Um, I've tried multiple times to get into my Pinterest account and it won't let me. So, I think they're censoring me. Um, I think this is a clear case of censorship or shadow banning because like... I didn't do anything for me to not be able to get into my account and I can't get into my account, so yeah. And third of all, I have actually made a TikTok account. At first, I wasn't going to make a TikTok account because I thought it was cringy. But actually, I like TikTok a lot. You can find like a bunch of like things and ideas on there for videos and stuff. So yeah, so if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, my username is tiktok.com slash at lavenderlushluxury on tiktok.com. So yeah, it's the same username as my YouTube channel. It's um, tiktok.com slash at lavenderlushluxury. So yeah. So people say that capitalism is efficient, meanwhile thousands of tons of products and food is being trashed every single day and landlords are evicting people and throwing people out of their homes for no reason and stuff and they're living off the backs of people who you know do hard work because landlords don't do hard work so yeah so let's get into this first I want to talk about landlords um, I made a TikTok about this I'm going to show the TikTok right here say it louder for the people in the damn back when the sky and the prospect is war Who's given a gun And then pushed to the fore And expected to die For the land of our birth We were woken up in the middle of the night By a man with a gun The victims say the man was their landlord Trying to force the family with three small children out of the house. Jesse Servin said around midnight His girlfriend and their three children Were sound asleep when they heard someone breaking down the door. That's when I heard a scream. So he forced himself in uh, with the rifle and uh, bulletproof vest and uh, LED uh, flashlight. So I couldn't see who it was until I heard his voice. He says the voice this is the next step. was his this landlord, step. Alberto Trevino, who Sarvin said had showed up pointing a gun at his family, trying to evict them. This is Kelly Goldfeder's routine every time she comes home. So when I come in here, it's freezing cold. So as soon as I turn on my heater, I just move it. It's now her third winter in this Parkdale apartment without full central heating. And how cold does it actually get when there's no heaters in the winter? Sometimes you can really see your breath. It's so cold. It goes down to like 12 to 13 degrees in here and I have to have like four units, four of the portable units on at all times. Goldfeder says the problem started in 2017 when her landlord took over the building and started renovations. She says central heating was shut off. Then he sent her an eviction notice claiming her unit needed repairs. All the other new tenants in here pay double or triple the price that I'm paying in my rent. So yeah, I'm sure it'd be easiest to just move out mm -hmm. for him. Like that's, he's definitely freezing me out so I can leave. 
So yeah, um, I do think that landlords are parasites because they are, they live off the backs of the working class, they don't do anything, they just take advantage of you in the working class, they are the enemy of working classes. I do think Mal was right about the landlords, like, landlords are such awful people, honestly. So yeah, so go check out my TikTok, and yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about how bottled water companies, aka Nestle, steal water and produce plastic, capitalizing off theft of like m billions of dollars and make that a profit. So yeah, um, so Nestle has the nerve to just come on here and say that they don't steal water and all that. And, but yet, the fucking CEO, I think, of Nestle once said that human beings don't have a right or access to water. Like, they're charging money for fresh water. That's stealing, because you don't own the water. So, yeah, fuck you, Nestle, and your fucking lies. So, I don't think I've ever covered food deserts on my YouTube channel, and I want to cover it because I think it's a really important issue and how capitalism creates food deserts and how capitalism is very anti-people of color and stuff. So, let's get into why food desert. Just some facts about food deserts. So, yeah. So, food deserts are a geographic areas where access to affordable, healthy food options like fruits and vegetables or frozen foods fruits and vegetables or whatever is limited or non-existent in an area because grocery stores are way too far away. About 23.5 million people live in food deserts. Nearly half of them are also low income and people of color specifically. People living in the poorest social economic status areas have a 2.5 times the exposure to fast food restaurants as those living in the wealthiest areas. And as so, with limited options, many people living in food deserts get meals from fast food restaurants, increasing their um, their high correlation and increased di diabetes rates and health low health rates and stuff. In Chicago, the death rates from diabetes in a food desert is twice that of areas with access to grocery stores. And now I want to talk about just some facts about food waste and capitalism. Organic. But guess what? The food is not only tasty, it's perfectly fine to eat or drink. Still good. Cranberry juice, right out of the dumpster. Why am I eating in all of these dumpsters? Candy from a dumpster. Still good. To prove a point, that perfectly edible food is going to waste. And here it is. Check out all of this food we found thrown away before its suggested sell-by date, including this baby formula, which is still good for another month, and this grape juice, still good for at least two months. I think it's outrageous and I think it's appalling. And check this out. Oh, wow. At this CVS dumpster, we hit pay dirt. All of this food came out of one dumpster from one CVS. The manager wanted to know what we were up to. If you take a look over here, this is all of the food we got out of this one dumpster, and it was still before the sell-by date. Yeah, anything uh, in a month before, we, we trash it regardless. We told him the food we had gathered would be donated to the needy, but he insisted it go right back into the dumpster. So you're not going to let us take this food? Yeah, I'm not able to, I'm sorry. But you understand that makes no sense, right? Exactly, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's our company policy. People say that capitalism is efficient. Meanwhile, thousands of food is trashed along with like other products besides like food, like um, the night company uh, cutting shoes instead of giving... Um, you know, their shoes out for free to homeless people. Capitalism decides just to get rid of it during a crisis and stuff. Like, they'd rather just, like, not sell it and just throw it away than give it away for free. That's how capitalism is. Very cold, you know, very heartless, typical capitalism. Because it's more profitable to make food waste and other waste than to distribute any of the supplies and or food in those to need. Roughly one-third of food purchased that is intended for human consumption every year, around 1.3 billion tons, is wasted or lost. This is enough to feed 3 billion people. If food loss were a country, it would be the third largest greenhouse gas em emitter on Earth. Supermarkets throw away 43 billion pounds of food every year, according to the most recent study. Up to 50% of produce is thrown out while still edible at a grocery store. 
So yeah, this is just a short video of just some topics I really wanted to cover. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye guys, see you next video.